What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my new subscribe, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my Scorpio kisses, I love, love, mm, I love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. This is the Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so, so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If your message resonates, guys, tip the channel. Okay, give me some motivation and inspiration, too, all right? I love you guys so, so much. Let's get into the message. Pulling the Prince of Wands in reverse. The Two of Cups. The Ten of Swords. Something not working, Scorpio, with somebody that's younger than you or somebody that's very immature. The moon is in reverse or something is being revealed about your counterpart, whoever this person is. Whatever it is, you end the connection with them or they end the connection with you. Yeah, the lovers coming out in the reverse. I'm also getting something about a fourth party situation. Like I feel like this person involved with two other people as well. Plus you and them. Like they passed third party shit. They don't they graduated, they don't do third party. Yeah. An Empress. So Scorpio, I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like, you know, they're playing the, the game. This manipulation game, the player game. I don't know if this person is younger than you. I'm getting heavy Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer energy here. Um, I don't know if this person is younger than you or if this person is just childish as fuck. But for some reason, this person thinks that they can... That they have rites of passage to an empress. And it's just like, first of all, you're a prince. Second of all, you're in the fucking reverse. So what I'm getting is, Scorpio, in the first place, like, this person shouldn't be in your energy. This person was never, I don't want to say, I'll just say up to snuff, okay, like my grandma used to say. And then your overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the death card. It's like, pretty much, Scorpio, the way things are in your journey right now, it's like you're really not concerned um, with people who are... In different parts of their journey, I say it like that to just keep it cute, cause you know you know that you know the type of work that go into healing, so you don't take it lightly. And when people do, when they talk to you about it, like like oh I you know went through the dark night of the soul, they might say some shit. I, I find too that people who either relate to Scorpio or in or like in a relationship with Scorpio, eventually they start picking up keywords and they start you know, catching our lingo and shit and they start using it back on us because they're trying to predict the program us to think that they're moving along and really they're not. Let's see. Let's get some more energy here. Alright. So the first energy you're pulling out is the night. It's coming out in the reverse. It says confident heroic messenger fearless assertive passionate fighting spirit is clarifying this um <laughs> this prince of wands in reverse he like this person very fucking childish immature and they are not prepared to be paired up with an empress that's just period so it's like whoever this person is i feel like scorpio when it comes to you i feel like this person may have been like your person as far as like your husband or living with you or like your children's father or something like that because I get like for some reason 
this Prince of Wands in reverse is wanting to be in a domesticated relationship with you, but this person feels like they've, you know, not lived enough life, hadn't sold their royal oats, because I feel like you're older than this person. This could be a situation, too, where, like, you're past childbearing years, and this person ain't, and they want children, and you don't, or something like that is what I'm getting. So, it's like, from the get-go, this person just was not for you. Like, it just, it didn't match up with your morals, your values, the things you wanted out of life, just period. On two of cup, cups, you're getting sword and, and scales, Truth, justice, due process, by the book, appeal, balance, make amends, law, integrity. Yeah, I feel like you and this person, y'all just, y'all really not in alignment with each other. You have different beliefs and thought systems about being domesticated. So does this person. This person could po possibly want like an open relationship. And it's just not happening with you, Scorpio. You've been, you know. You've been through so much relationship shit to like an open relationship. It's like, what the fuck did I just get divorced for? And, you know, I've been divorced two, three times because people cheated. You think I want to now somehow just come up and say, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I want to be a part of a third, fourth party situation. Let's do that. It's like, hell no. On the Ten of Swords, you're pulling spilled milk. Regret, accidents happen, don't sweat the small stuff, mistakes, leave it in the past. It's over, period. And that's what the Ten of Swords represent. It's like, it's done. you just not, you just not into little boys or little girls. You're not into immaturity. You're not into people who think they're giving you a good idea about them being able to cheat. This person think they they're they're young enough and innovative to make you feel like you're old enough to maybe you need to do this to be hip or maybe you need to do this to like be with them so that they can have their cake and eat it too. It's like nah, not Scorpio. And on the moon in reverse, flamingos, soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, dating, attraction, long term potential here. Yeah, cause I feel like with the flamingos, it's giving me self love. And I feel like that's that's like your guy, Scorpio. I feel like if all else fails, that's just a resting place for you. You mirroring yourself, whether you with somebody or not, it's just like you're still happy in love. Because um, I feel like you two of a kind, Scorpio, is what I'm getting here. All right. And then on the lovers in reverse, you're pulling number seven, optical illusion. Not what it seems. Mirage, trap, unclear. Yeah, it's like... This person trying to get you to do shit that you know, like, this person could have pitched this shit to you 20 years ago, and this wouldn't have been your, like, this person don't know you, know who the fuck you are is what I'm getting, whether you married to him, baby dad, or what, like, this person, they keep pitching these ideas of an open relationship, or telling you they need space, but really, they don't want you to move forward with nobody else, too, it's like, oh, no. And then on the Empress, you're pulling the number 2, 50, 50. At this time, this could go either way. Yeah, that's free will, Scorpio. But this person, you know, it's like they, they, they're they, coming into these ideas because of the people that they're sleeping with now. The outside influences are, are telling them, look, you need to leave your wife. You need to be in a polygamy relationship or some shit like that. And this person... They don't feel as though they have to leave you to be able to partake in this, Scorpio, which is really giving me the fucking heebie Jesus. All right, and we had two more to come out. It says summer, waxing quarter, the the mother, okay, within three to six months. So I feel like within three to six months, this is over with. Something is going to dissolve with this situation. Yeah, you're pulling the number three, black widow, betrayal, warning, twisted turnout, cunning, danger, toxic situation, web of lies. Yeah, so Scorpio, I feel like this person is being exposed. For some of y'all, y'all just met this person. But this person is being exposed. This person, for a lot of us Scorpios, I feel like you married to this person. And I feel like they just started dating somebody else or sleeping with somebody else. And this is something this person pitching to them. And it's almost like they're trying to, you know, soften the blow with you and bring it in and ask you, like, what you think about an open relationship? And you like the same thing. I always thought about an open relationship all my fucking life. If I'm going to be in an open relationship, I'm not going to be with nobody. 
I'm gonna be by myself and do what the fuck I wanna do with any fucking body. That's called single. But as far as being in a relationship with somebody and sleeping with other people and dating, other, like why do that? It it just don't it don't make sense. On the bottom of the dick, you got yes. The answer is yes. This situation or event is right on track at this time, yeah. Cause you right on track about leaving this shit at this time is what I'm getting, Scorpio. Let's get some more energy here with this person. I also feel too like Scorpio, for some of you Scorpios, <clears throat> I feel like with the moon in reverse, a lot of secrets about this person is coming out. I feel like once this come out, it's like you think about a lot of other shit about this person that, that give you so much pause to tell you like, damn, yeah, I, you know, that's what that was. Like you, you start, the shit start playing back, whoever this person is, this person I'm telling you too, another another day of giveaway, Scorpio, is people don't like transparency. So you go on a date with somebody and, you know, you tell them the truth and they run away. That's because they were there for, you know, manipulation in the first place. You see what I'm saying? Being honest is always a good thing to people who are not because they, they tend to run from it, shy away from it or um Get rid of themselves is what I'm is what I'm getting out. What I'm getting. Okay, let me see what else here. What are the messages? What 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 is this person trying to say to Scorpio? Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Yeah, that's why I feel like you move forward and leaving this person because it's just like this person got life fucked up. Whoever this young water sign is, don't have to be, but. I, I, I feel like they, I keep getting the energy like they feel like they can talk you into this, whatever the fuck it is. And it's just like, nah, you reject it. I reject that shit. I don't want that shit. I don't want nothing to do with you no more either. Like, uh. It says, I couldn't tell you face to face. <laughs> this person exposed. And this person still trying to lie, manipulate. Still trying to make you, trying to soften the blow with this. And it's like you dating four other people. I feel like you find out about everything this person's doing. I'm also hearing something about same sex as well. This person is a trisexual, guys. And Scorpio, you married to him or you got children by him. Or this is somebody you just met that you're deeming a soulmate. This ain't your soulmate. It's not. This person think they everybody's soulmate. This person sleep with everybody. Whether they married or not. And they've been doing this shit for years. Under your nose, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. It says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Because like I said, this person has some type of weird connection with you, Scorpio. Where, like, they didn't want to, like, you was like their main person. But they, they didn't want to, this person wanted to figure out a way to make you say yes to this shit. That's why your overall energy is yes. And you like, nah, I say yes to fucking me. It say I see things differently now. Yeah, I, I bet you do. They have no choice but to see it different after you done left their ass and cut their ass off for trying you with that stupid shit. It says I'm so attracted to you. Who the fuck ain't? Who ain't? That, that's the point with that, like. And then here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. So Scorpio, clearly somebody is returning. There could be a reconciliation here. I feel like, and it couldn't have happened at the best of times. I feel like whoever this is, the here and now, that's your soulmate. I feel like this is somebody who mirrors everything about you. Your higher self you. Okay, not this... Because I feel like for some, of, for some of Scorpio, this person, you've been with them a long time. You got children by them and all. This person is a fucking psychopath to think you was going to go along with this. They've been knowing you too long to know you, Scorpio, wouldn't go for that shit. It says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Now, this person trying to play games and run game. What spiritual lesson they got when they still sleeping with four people? Just because you left Scorpio don't mean this person stopped. On the bottom of the deck, warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. Yeah. And you didn't, Scorpio. And I feel like that all had to do with the fact that you love yourself and how you're making more healthy choices now about the people who you have in your bed and in your energy. And and, and for, for a lot of us, Scorpio, the thing about this shit is, it's like until you came to this place of ascension, 
these fucking people was all right. That that that's what's so fucked up to me. It's like before you like we was we was good with this shit. And that just lets you know why these awakenings and shit is so important in your life. Like you can't miss out on them. Because if you do, you miss out on your whole life. And people just take, 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 take. And then after they take all that they think they can they they, they can't take anymore. This is my words getting tied up. Then they come and ask you to be a part of a fucking five-fold orgy or some shit. And you like, are you fucking kidding me? I just went through all that shit with you. For you to sum it up and tell me let's sleep with everybody? This a fucking clown, Scorpio, just period. And you married to him. I got children by him, wedding came out, I'm put that back in. But I feel like this new person is your soulmate, just period. This person, no matter who you with, Scorpio, they always know you're an empress. They already know you're high ranking. They already know you worth your weight in gold. So don't ever be mistaken to think that your, your worth is minute because it's not. It's huge. It's catastrophic. That's why they're there in the first place. Manipulators don't waste their time. These con artists and clowns and shit, they don't waste their time with, with people that ain't going no fucking way and ain't got nothing. That's what you need to understand. So when you be thinking about why John it did be like this, why Kim did me, it's because you had something that they needed. Anytime shit go to happen and people doing strange shit for change, it's because they need something that you got and the person on the other end can make their demands. That's why I said we're in a position now where we have we have the world. So can't nobody come promising Scorpio shit. Oh, I'm gonna give you the world if you if you allow me to sleep around with five or six people. Oh, I'm gonna give you a good marriage. I'm gonna make sure your bills paid and you secure if you allow me to sleep around with other men. It's like. Bitch, are you retarded? I already got a bank full of fucking money. I want me somebody who just want to sleep with me every single night, day in, day out. Fuck you talking about? Like, it's a lot of weird old type relationship goals going on in the earth right now. But Scorpio, we we, we remain the same when it comes to certain shit. Certain shit just don't jive with us. That's just that on that. What else? These people attracted to you. They need something you got. And we keep letting them get the upper hand. It's like, because why? Because we, we fall in love. They, they fall in money and protection. And they fall into this, <coughs> what they feel like is their purpose. Because why? They, they, act, they activating, they're activating this sense of, like, what is it? What am I trying to say? They, they, they're, they're trying to initiate this new world love order type shit. And it's like, bitch. Y'all gonna have to campaign somewhere else with that shit. Not Scorpio. I, I I just, you know, period. Like, these people want you to change who you are to be with them. Pulling children, children involving, children involved, using child as a pawn, stand for the kids. Yeah, I told you. For some of us, we got kids with these psychopath fuckers. Paralyzed. <laughs> Paralyzed by love, holding back, fear of falling in love. You're married to them. You, we don't even know who they are. They wear so many masks. They've been wearing them so long. They've been doing this shit so long. Unbeknownst to you, Scorpio, that you don't know you're dealing with a pro. But them motherfuckers don't know with they, who they're dealing with. They're dealing with a higher power. They're dealing with the Hierophant, period, and the High Priestess. So, what did it say? Cut through. Just period. The children paralyzed. It don't matter, Scorpio. Cut through. Emotional, mental clarity, secrets coming to light, breakthroughs. Cut through, Scorpio. If you don't know how to do nothing else, you know how to cut through. Guess what else you need to do? Clean up. Clean house. Sweep the house with this bitch. It's over with. It's done. You can go try that shit somewhere. And there's people out there who like that. Because I got a feeling the other three people that he fuck around with, they don't, or she fuck around with, they don't care as long as they come and perform and do whatever it is that's request it because they got something they want they doing that it says cleaning up life making healthy choices cutting out the negativity what i said when we first started this what i said you making healthy choices why because you love yourself bitch and i know you don't love me because you asking me to do this whacked off shit clown ass trapped 
in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck, cannot escape from it. Yes, you can, Scorpio. That's in your mind that you can't escape from this shit. You better than that. And better things are waiting for you, but you got to open up. Stop opening up for this bullshit. I don't care if you've been married to this person 15 years, 5 years, 5 days, 5 hours. If you feel at all trapped, if you feel paralyzed, if you feel like you stuck in a situation because you got children with somebody, get out. Stop crying about it, Scorpio. You know what to do. You a fucking gypsy. Get the fuck out of there. You, you in control of other people's finances and resources. It's plenty of people that want to help you. You just don't like asking for help. What I said. Knowing the unknowable, unconventional, unconventional lifestyle, exotic, and mysterious. And that's why people target us for that shit. They see Scorpio sex is a motherfucker mysterious. I, say, I know they say, ooh, I bet they down for the whatever. No the fuck we ain't. Ooh, back to your ass. Hypnotize. See, they, they come hypnotize and then they get these great ideas. But really, Scorpio, they're a fucking snake. <laughs> these snakes ain't even in the grass. They in your bed. It says captured by love, hard to resist, seduce, undivided attention. Only when y'all having sex. And only when they having sex with you. But while they having sex with you, they wishing the other four people was in the bed. Who am I talking to? Under the bottom of the deck. Cursed. Whoever this person is, they cursed. I told you they was wrong when they came in the door. It says string of bad relationship, karmic cycle, the evil eye. This person cursed. Already. You wonder why your shit went to hell in the handbag. That's why. Because you start, you start fucking with these unfamiliar spirits. Because why? Because this person, whoever this is, I'm, the reason why I'm going to say you messing with these un... You know, because this person sleeping with somebody you don't know and whoever else these people are down to sleep with. Because it, it seemed like a big ass orgy. And by you sleeping with this person, they opening you up to demonic attack, Scorpio, with this stupid shit. And that's why you going through the shit. They already cursed. I feel like, too, there's some type of initiation that's going on or some type of secret society that's been going on for years that your husband or wife has been a part of way before they know you. I also feel like you have to be married at least three, five, seven, eight. It's a number of years before they even introduce this to the wife or to the husband, this secret society. They want to know if you, you know, at a certain type of level of stupidity. stupidity. And it's like... You leave this shit, you end it. The Ten of Swords in the middle of your reading. The Page of Wands in reverse at the beginning letting you know this a clown. And the Empress is here. You still remain in your power, Scorpio. Don't be fooled. Don't be trapped in your mind about what people are doing in their lives. This shit ain't got nothing to do with you. Because your husband slept around the whole entire time and you didn't know it. It, it was good you didn't know it. You'd probably be in fucking hell or jail by now. God kept you from this shit. Move forward from this person, though. They're not going to change. This person think they're going to change you. They're going to wear you down. Eventually, you will be so broke down and so disgusted and feeling like you can't do no better than till you will succumb to this shit. The devil is a fucking lie. I'm going to say that every chance I fucking get. Yeah, complicated in reverse. This shit ain't complicated. Ain't nobody have to teach me how to play che checkers. They had to teach me how to play chess, though. So this shit right here is grade school. They just trying to wear you down. They trying to wait it out to see what... what it, They trying to see, Scorpio, what kind of special kind of fool are you? They already know you're a fool because you've been with them 13 years and they've been able to do this shit and you not even detect their ass. Or you probably didn't give a fuck. Or just thinking this person doing the right thing because... You know the old you would have been on, on suspect from day fucking one. They would have to prove to you who they are. Yeah, the moon. This person kept so many secrets, Scorpio, for so many years. Y'all gonna be surprised. Whoever this is I'm reading right now. For some of y'all, y'all finding out shit about somebody who passed. That was your husband. Or when your husband or wife passed, all the women came out the woodwork at the funeral. You found out who this person was. Yeah, the warrior. You found out this person was conquering not only you, but everybody else in the neighborhood. Who am I talking to? I just heard Peter. <laughs> Pete. Reminder. We keep getting that reminder card. 
Because I feel like ancestors and source always want to remind us of how powerful we are. And no matter what go on in your life, when it's brought to your attention, that's when you're called to action. Not before then. You, you wasn't sent here, Scorpio, to, you know, figure out somebody else shit and what they got going on. You, you made a vow to me. I expect you to do that. So I wouldn't expect nothing else. But when it's brought to my attention that I've been a special kind of fool and you a clown, I got to react then. So that's why that reminds us here because there's something about you, Scorpio, and you're pulling individuality again. You're being, you, you single. This is a breakup. It's something about you, Scorpio, when you realize that you've been played. And I don't, and I don't, and this, I'm, me too, I'm guilty of it. I promise you. If you want me to spit in your fucking face, and I, and I mean, when I say that, I wouldn't do that to nobody, but, I, um, but what I'm saying is, I want you to feel the intensity of a Scorpio. When you, if you want me to never fuck with you a fucking kid, bro, let me find out you played me. Like you, you for real got away with this shit, bitch. You're dead. I mean that. I mean with Scorpio, don't let, don't play Scorpio. I'm telling you, it's done. It's up. You can believe that. And if the ones, if somebody stay with that shit, I'm telling you, you still up. If Scorpio stay with your ass, you still up. Yeah, the high priestess of Earth is here. So this person could have Earth um, holler aspect in their chart. Or this could be you, Scorpio. But what I'm hearing is this up. This person can't convince you to be somebody you're not. This person trying to convince you to be somebody you never were. Never had interest in being. Never, you know, you never had interest in sleeping with a hundred people. People say, oh, well, you done been divorced three times. Yeah, because I don't play that shit. I can be divorced five more motherfucking times. And probably will. Because I ain't putting up with nobody else shit and baggage and luggage. I promise you that. I'll get divorced six more motherfucking times. I don't care how many more times. Scorpio not pulling up with no shit. My high self won't allow me to do it. My high self last year maybe, but not this year, boo. It's a new sheriff in town, like I said, and it ain't him. Period. What else are we going to get out of here, Scorpio? This person cursed. Probably some old karmic bitch that put some type of witchcraft on them for how he done set them up while they with you. You fighting principalities and spirits and you don't even know it because you still sleeping with this person. They sleeping unprotected and all. I got some about same sex too on the bottom of the deck. Medical record. I feel like I should use protection with you. See what I'm saying? This person out here raw dogging. And trying to get Scorpio to go along. I feel like that person got an STD. Could even be AIDS now. You dodged a bullet, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, you could have been you could have been any of these things that this person has contracted or gave to other people, and you were protected by source. Period. Whatever this rejection was, it was divine protection. Period. It says kicked out, no motivation. You're done. You found out this person played you. You're done. They're done too. It says he's about their life, but damn, he's fun. Meeting new people. Dating. Sleeping with them if you fucking want to. And if you don't, you don't have to. But I'll be damned if I'm going to be married under God. And sleep with three more fucking people. I feel God too much. And now that you asking me some shit like that, I know exactly who you are. I ain't got to think about it, discern it, have no intuition. You a fucking clown and a scumbag. Period. Successful single parent. Yeah, for whoever y'all is that got these children, y'all going to be all right. You and the children. Fuck them. Fuck staying for children. Justice, falsely accused. I would not be a victim of your character assass assassination. I know what or who I am. And what I stand for, I would not be moved. That's you, Scorpio. And that's just period. I would not. It's certain shit I just. You. Go ahead on, baby. <laughs> you good. It's just certain things you're not going to make me conform to. Definitely not going to be a whole. A side piece. Your number one girl. Only The only one girl or no girl for me. That's it. Emotionally immature man. Boy, what I said. They refuse to grow up. Make. Promises they know they, they don't plan on keeping. 
still at home with their parents. Because this way you sending this bitch back home to his parents. Look at him. Did I tell you he was immature? That's why that damn pr Prince of Wales came out in the reverse. This person came in wrong. It says they shamed you with an STD. I can't make it up, Scorpio. And I and I feel like you was already feeling that energy. Your overall energy. Say I'm feeling like I need to use protection with you. So this could be somebody, even your husband, that you using protection with. Yeah. And that's sad. Health problems. And this person probably distributes, starting to show these whatever the fuck symptoms or ailments or whatever this is. But not you. You good. I feel like you dodged that bullet. This this these other motherfuckers with the STDs and finding out now who they fucking and who they dealing with. Not you. You already knew. Because when this shit come to light, you out of them. Like the empress you are. And you moving on. So that'll be divorce number five. And who gives a fuck? <laughs> All right, Scorpio. If you still with me, like, subscribe, join. Let those ass play for a minute. So your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Don't forget, guys. November the 18th is the launch. I love you.